Hey guys, it's Julie here and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. My channel is based on me building my J True design business and I film studio vlogs and DIY tutorials on how to make party decorations and gifts for people. So feel free to check my channel out. So in this video today, I will show you how to add glitter onto the text and the mock-up I use. I often get a lot of questions on that and I'll show you two different versions one will be the um, for the cake and the next one will be for the cupcakes so hopefully you enjoy watching this video so let's get straight into it so I've already opened up Illustrator and the cake topper I will be designing is hello baby so basically I want to join all these letters together so I'll go to selection tool right click and go to create outline right click again and ungroup and this should bring all the letters together the important thing about making cake toppers is to join the letters as close as possible so it's not as flimsy so this is what I'm doing right now The great thing about using Illustrator is that you can manipulate the letters so if anything's overhanging a little bit you can always adjust it. So I'm just going to adjust this line so I go to direct selection tool, click on the B and then just bring some of these points back so it's not overhanging on the letter A. I also want to create a line to join the H and the E so what I need to do is go to the fill box and click none and then stroke box is color. So now I'm going to the pen tool and then create a line and curve it. And to adjust it, I go to selection tool and just angle it so it ties in better. And I need the line to be a bit thicker. So I go to stroke and change it to two. So I think this looks pretty good. So now I need to save as and then name my cake topper. And the format I am saving it under is Illustrator. So next I will be showing you how to place this cake topper onto the cake mock-up in Photoshop. So now with my Photoshop opened, I will open one of my mock-up images. So this is the one I always use. You can get these images literally from anywhere. I can list a few places you can check out in the description box below. And the thing I really wanted to point out is we will be working with layers, so take note of that. Next I go to place embedded and select the cake topper I just designed. Okay, and to enlarge it, make sure you click on the shift button and just click on one of the corners and drag it to the size you need it to be. So I think this is more or less center, so I will click the enter button and that should place the hello baby right there. And if you do decide to move it, then go to the move tool at the top and just adjust it accordingly. So next I want to add a stick just underneath. So I go to layers, click the background and then you need to add a new layer on top of that. And I'll name this one stick just so that we know which layers we are working with. Next click on the rectangle and then hover over to the swatches and I am selecting the light brown and just create a stick-like shape. And then going back to the layers and click on Hello Baby, then click on File and place Embedded and then go to my Glitter Background folder. And these are all created by myself. You can easily take pictures of gold glitter and just make your own files and just hold the shift button and click the corner and drag it until you cover the cake topper and enter. 
Next go to layer and then scroll down to create clipping mask and that should apply the glitter on top. And going back to the layers, I click on Hello Baby, double click it and then you can add inner shadow or drop shadow. It's just to create a little bit more depth so it doesn't look so flat but that's totally up to you and you can even try all these other different things as well. I think what I'm going to do is add inner shadow and I think that's enough. If you guys have found this video helpful so far I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button down below as this will help my channel reach out to more people so thank you all so much and finally I am going to add a watermark over my work. You obviously don't need to do this but I prefer to do this for my designs so I have just typed out my name and I'll double click it from the layers and change the opacity so that it's not so noticeable. So that is how you add glitter on top of the text and I do have a second part showing you how I do it for my cupcake toppers so if you're interested then stay tuned for that just going to save this and open the next image of the mock-up which is the cupcakes and it's pretty much the same principle so you go to file place embedded and choose hello baby and then hold the shift button and just drag it to the size you need it to be and click enter and to repeat the same for the other two cupcakes I click on move tool and click on hello baby and hold on to alt and then drag them along and just making sure I name all the layers that I am working with and then we go to the background and then create a new layer and I am going to make the stick for the first cupcake topper. Click on the rectangle and the color from the swatches and create a stick. And to duplicate the stick, go to move tool, hold onto the alt button and drag it along and repeat the same again. And going back to layers and just making sure I name each layers correctly. And now clicking on Hello Baby number one, go to File, Place Embedded and Glitter Chart. And this time I'm going for the navy. And to desize it, I click on the corner, holding the shift button at the same time and then enter. And then go to layer, create clipping mask and there you go. And repeat the same steps for layer Hello Baby 2 and layer Hello Baby 3. And again, if you want to add more depth to the text, then you can just play around with it however you want to. And I'm just going to save my work. And I hope you have found this very useful. So I hope you have found this video super helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below and check out my, all my other videos as well. And I would really appreciate it if you can just like this video. It would really help my channel out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.